Assalamu alaikum. I think you can do better than that. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, that's a lot better, mashallah, alhamdulillah. We're here today to talk about a subject, it's about God. And who is God? And so what happened some many years ago, my little daughter came to me and she said, Daddy, tell me about God. And so I began to tell her and I thought about it and I said, you know what? Let me go get a tape recorder and I'll make a program about it. So I got the tape recorder and put it on the kitchen table and then she asked me questions and then I would give her the answers and we recorded it. Then we copied that tape and we gave it to many people. It was called Daddy, Tell Me About God. And it became so popular they asked me to make a, another program about it. When my daughter was much older, we went to the radio station to make a program about this subject. But she couldn't remember the questions and I didn't really remember it either, so the program didn't come out that great. But uh, the subject is always the same. People ask similar questions all the time. Daddy, what do we really believe about God? Now, imagine this could be asked to anybody. It could be asked to somebody who is a Christian or a Jew or Hindu or Buddhist. They could have many different, you know, different religion and still the children will ask the same question, what about God? And all the religions will tell you there's some kind of God. But then the child could ask, start asking something really simple, but maybe there wouldn't be a simple answer for it. One of the questions people ask you when you talk about God, is there any proof? How do we know there really is a God? What's the proof? Creation. How? It's a good point. He has a very good point. The creation is one of the biggest proofs. When you look at the whole entire universe and consider that it's way beyond our comprehension, we are not able to really understand everything in the universe. We don't know. It's too big. Where did it come from? Now one of the tricks that some people will use when they want you to agree with them, to trick you, to you know, make you go along with their idea is to use things that they know are confusing to you. For instance, time. People use time as an example many times to make you confused. Because if you said, well, how long is a minute? You say 60 seconds. That's easy. Well, what's a second? It's one sixtieth of a minute. I don't know. It's about uh, that long. Uh, there's another second. Uh, there's another second. And then they say to you, well, how long is a year? That's easy. 365 days. And the sun calendar. How long in the moon calendar? 354 days. Okay. What's a day? Why are you asking me these questions? You're making me crazy. And they're going to ask you now, what's an eon? An eon? I don't know what's an eon. It's a very long, 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 long time. And they say eons and eons. It just means a long period of time. It could be a thousand years. It could be 10,000 years. So they will tell you things that are beyond your ability to imagine. We did pretty good with minutes, seconds, days, weeks. We were okay. Until somebody said, four and a half billion years ago, when the dinosaurs roamed upon the earth, you go, four and a half billion. Whew. What's a billion? A billion? Uh, I don't know. 17 trillion years ago, when the first part of the earth was formed. How do I know about this? Can you argue with the guy? I don't know. Maybe it was only 15 trillion. Get another question. What's a trillion? I don't know. When you look at a carpet, you ever look at a rug or a carpet and those little things that stick up the little threads, you know? Next time you see a big carpet, pull one thread. Just pull one and hold it and look at it and realize that it is only one thread, one little teeny piece of the whole carpet and all of the carpet together doesn't equal one billion. All of those threads on the carpet don't equal one billion. Wow, that's a lot now, isn't it? 
Even if you're in a great big huge room and you pull out one piece of that carpet, it still is not one billion. That's how much a billion. A billion is a lot more than we can understand. But when somebody says a trillion, a trillion, that's like a thousand times more than I know how to count because I don't know how to count a billion either. Make sense? The other thing they will use is distance. How far are you away from me? Eight feet, six feet, something like that. How far is it to the door back there? Uh, 30 feet, maybe 35. I don't know. 10 meters. I don't know. Something like that. We'll measure it. Huh? A mile. A meter. How about a light year? A light year? What's a light year? The distance light will travel in a year. What? Light travels very fast. You know sound travels slower than light. Sound travels around 760 feet a second or something like that. That's why if you ever saw somebody in the distance and they were hammering on something, you see him go boom, boom, boom. The hitting is, looks like it happens before the sound. Did you ever see that? This is because the light is traveling faster to you. You're seeing the action before you hear the sound. But it's still pretty fast, isn't it? I mean, you know, even when something happens all the way around the world, because I've been on the cell phone with somebody and they're on the other side of the world for me and I'm talking to them and something happens, it's still only a couple seconds from what I actually heard. Have you ever watched TV when they have those newscasters on another part of the world and the person's standing there like this and they say, well, tell us more about what's going on. Oh, yes, everything is, but the reason you see the delay is because that's how long it took sound to get to them and they heard, oh, what's going on? And they began to answer you. But that's on the opposite side of the world. The world is about 26,000 miles around and many thousands of miles to the moon, many thousand miles to the sun, so many thousand, 93 million miles or something like that to go to the sun from here. So, you know, by the way, uh, somebody told me the best way to go to the sun. They were talking about traveling to the sun. I want a rocket ship to go to the sun. You know what's wrong with that idea? What will happen when you get close to the sun? Yeah. But my friend, he's very smart. He said, huh, I know how to do it. I said, how? He said, go at night. <laughs> Let me repeat that. Go at night. It's, okay, he didn't get it. All right, that's all right. We'll just keep going. <laughs> so what we're talking about is the, how people use things that you don't know how to measure to trick you. You don't know what's a billion. I don't know what's a trillion. We don't know what's light years. So when somebody tells you that four and a half billion years ago that the first human beings got changed out of being monkeys, I don't know how to argue with that, do you? Especially when he uses a lot of big words. Osteolopithecines. Huh? Now, Jurassic period, we know now from the movie Jurassic Park. But even before that, we, didn't, we wouldn't know. Somebody said, in the Jurassic period, was it Jurassic? I don't know. But now we know it's a time period when certain types of dinosaurs lived, yeah? And then they talk about Neanderthal man. And they talk about a neolite period. And they talk about this and that. And you're like, I don't know these words. And they wear a nice suit. So when they tell you all this stuff, you say, it must be true, huh? He's a professor, he's a scientist, he works in a laboratory, he has lots of knowledge, he has a lot of paper hanging on the wall, he graduated from this and that, and he has more degrees over there, some more degrees over there. Would you like to know how to get a lot of degrees? Would anybody here like to have some degrees? I can tell you how you can get a whole lot of degrees real easy. Go to the drugstore and buy a thermometer. It has all kinds of degrees. You could laugh a little louder, you know. The microphone didn't pick that up. A lot of degrees on a thermometer. That's much better. We can paste it in.